open the instruction here side by side with Kali Linux regardless of how you installed Kali Linux um, you can install the driver if you install Kali Linux standalone with another OS or on a virtual machine which is my case I installed it on VMware but you must be connected to the internet no matter how with wired or on virtual machine with uh, your host because I'm connected on my host machine my Kali Linux is connected to the internet because we're going to run some commands we need to have internet anyway so make sure you have internet on your Kali Linux and first command to check if USB adapter is recognized by Kali Linux is LSUSB once you run that make sure you plugged in your Wi-Fi adapter it should show you the adapter here and this is the driver we're going to download it but before that we're going to run these packages which is required to update your current packages and install some other packages so I just copy paste all of these it's gonna take a while if it's asking for password type your current user password and be patient if it's asking for do you want to continue uh, enter Y and press enter key and mine was quick because I already ran this but to prove that even though I plugged in Wi-Fi adapter but it's still not installed and it's not showing me Wi-Fi here right there is no Wi-Fi option I can't look for Wi-Fi networks why because the driver is not installed so after you run these commands to update the packages and install some new packages we need for the driver I'm going to clear terminal CD to downloads folder and here we're going to download this repository which is the driver for this Wi-Fi adapter as I told you I'm going to just paste it and once it's downloaded I go to the folder CD driver folder and running next commands one by one if you don't see any error message like that it's good to go for next one like that and next one but if you're getting any error message please leave a comment below I can help you out but my recommendation is because I tested this a lot and I spent a lot, lot of time to figure this out I would recommend if you face any error install a fresh Kali Linux and go through these steps to install the driver for your Wi-Fi first then do other stuff you want to do on Kali Linux because you might have other packages conflicts with this driver that's why I'm recommending if you have any issues with this process I highly recommend to install a fresh Kali Linux and the first going through these steps updating the packages installing some other pa packages and installing the driver first and I tested works perfect with no issue on a new Kali Linux you don't have to reboot it as I'm going to show you it's gonna be showing us Wi-Fi in a second as soon as we dump these commands if I click here as you can see now I have the option for connecting to Wi-Fi you see now I have available networks all Wi-Fi 2G 5G I have the option to connect to all of them so was easy hope you're not getting any error messages but if you get again I highly recommend to install a new Kali Linux and go through these steps and hopefully you can have your Wi-Fi adapter running on Kali Linux on another video I'm going to show you how to switch the manage mode on this Wi-Fi adapter to monitor mode and hopefully that's going to help you out if you want to run any security assessment and penetration testing thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching